What's good, y'all? Welcome to my channel. This is Buddha AQ, and the AQ is for Aquarius because what a time it is to be alive, and because I'm an Aquarius. And this is going to be human design tarot for each of the design types for February. So this time, just because it's my birthday month and I'm a projector. <coughs> I'm going to be a little bit uh, showing favoritism, and I'm going to go with projectors. So, let's see what's going to happen or what to look out for for February. Okay, so, I really, this is like one of my favorite decks, too. <clears throat> Wait till y'all see, like, the... The illustrations. It's crazy too because the story behind this deck is um because I work part time also in a metaphysical shop and um we got a big old shipment of you know tarot decks and stuff and this it's actually a keymaster tarot. Here's the box. Any tarot readers or if you're learning tarot and you wanna pick that up it's pretty dope I actually when i first started reading cards i started reading cardomancy and you'll see uh which is basically playing cards uh just it's pretty much minor arcana without you know the major cards uh when you're reading the playing cards and so like these kind of like see like bottom of the deck was uh four spades which is four swords um so it's pretty cool that like this deck was just calling out to me and it just sat there for months and finally, I was just like, you know what? Let me just buy it for myself. And I got it. And then the funny thing was is that we got another shipment in where we ordered the deck again. And it went, like, immediately. So, I guess that first time it came in, it was just meant for me. All right, I'll stop talking. And let's get into the projector reading. All right. All right. Let's see. What... Are we expecting to see for February for projectors? What is going on with projectors as a collective? Okay, and so we got the nine of clubs, which is also the nine of uh, wands and it's like you're you're determined there's something that you've been working on or there's something that's going to come up for for you in february to where like you're just really determined like that that's just kind of what's been on your mind so whether that's like something with work or a career or you know people in your life relationships something that you're determined about um either making something work or accomplishing a lot of ones so you know it, it's I want to say it's either a person or it's a something that you're doing that you're very passionate about right and it's it's wands is real fire energy right and so it's going to be something that like fire is action and so it's going to be something that you really want to you know work on but remember as a projector you don't have a lot of energy so make sure oh, what fell out you don't have a lot of energy and where did the card go oh i got it you don't have a lot of energy right so you want to make sure that let me push these up now let me make sure that damn okay you can see them now if you couldn't really see them before this is the first two cards you push them up let me get my thought out as well so so you have a lot of uh, i mean you don't have a lot of energy so you want to make sure that those energetic spurts that you get like use them to do whatever it is that you know that you're determined to get done or whatever you're passionate about or or you know make sure if you um if it's about a person um depending on whether or not you have a defined throat center as a projector, um, you know, just make sure that you 
know when is the right time to to make that move to to talk or communicate or whatever it is you know let that person know whatever it is that you got to let them know make sure you take that time especially if you have an open throat center okay so let's see what's going to be the challenges for february for you so so far uh just coming up we got the the nine of um nine of hearts or nine of cups uh hearts or cups in the tarot and so it's something that you're not like you just kind of really have you've been having challenges like finding happiness or just being content with something whether that be a job or a relationship or just with the way like the people around you it's just something that you haven't really been happy with all the way and so you have this thing that you know that you're passionate about and determined to like get to a certain point that you want to you know you want to get out of like not being happy about whatever situation you're in let me just put them all out make sure y'all can see that OCD lining them up. <laughs> All right, so yeah, challenges with being happy about you know whatever whatever it is, it could be work, career, job, relationship, friendships, just people around you, whatever. Um, you know, but you you, and because of because of like you not being content with where you're at, it's like you feel like you can't even be like your truest self. You can't even like stay true to who you are um because like you just you kind of have to fake it around the people at work or around you know the person that you're in with a, in a relationship with or around your friends that maybe you're just like starting to like really you know raise in frequency and vibe a little bit higher and just it's not really the same anymore i mean it happens you know that re it happens like sometimes we outgrow people and it's just time to move on. Like, not everybody's going <laughs> to, meaning time to move on. It's like, you know, the six of, uh, what you call it, six of swords, which is six of spades. You know, it's time to move on. But you're having trouble moving on because you, you're, like, you're too, like, in your head, you know? You're too in your head. You know, the, the swords is a, is a, um, a air a air sign i mean an air card you know the, the the symbol of air so you you're in your head because you don't want people to like you know you don't want people to to you don't want to hurt people's feelings basically right and you're having trouble making a quick decision which you know the, the what the decision is you know that you want to you know move on and 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 leave the people behind or leave that job behind but you're too in your head worrying about you know how they're going to feel and you're not putting yourself first so you definitely got to you know put yourself first you already know the answer you already know the choice to make it's just challenging because of you know you don't know what's on the other side you you're thinking about too much like what is the other side going to look like Let's see what spirit or your ancestors or your guides or whatever you want to call it, however you want to look at it. What guidance from the spiritual, from the spiritual realm, what is the, what, what is the guidance that you need to hear? like you know go within right go within defend yourself meaning like don't you don't externally have to defend yourself and get into arguments and stuff like that remember like i said before 
before you communicate anything, especially if you have an open throat. If you have a defined throat, you kind of know when and when not to talk and communicate certain things. If you have an open throat, sometimes you just want to be heard. But when this, what this means by defend yourself is mean it means just like defend like like your authentic self, who you really are on the inside, right? Like stay true to yourself. It doesn't mean we get into an argument or a fight, like because you deserve, you know, you deserve what's yours you deserve like to be treated and to 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 be treated the way that you want to be treated and also you know if this probably dealing more with like your the relationships in your life you know the people around you you deserve to like have a fair treatment of or or just you know being heard or or being understood with what it is that you're trying to do in life if people don't understand or they don't they don't get it like or you know it's just something different to them regardless if they don't understand it like you still deserve like that fair treatment you know that like to be heard and, and for people to be open to whatever it is that you're doing and also like um things need to be balanced if it has to do with like people close to you or a relationship all right and so, like, you, again, these line up, making the choice and moving on, right? Moving forward, moving forward from being restricted. Because right, like right now you're, you're restricted because you, you're not getting that fair, you're not defending yourself. You're not defending who you truly are. You're not like being, like just staying true to yourself and, and just saying, you know what? Like, I'm going to just be me if this don't work out or that don't work out or, you know, I got to leave this job and move move on to another job or a total different career or just start my own business. You know, it that's just what I got to do because that's what feels right to me. And that's what I feel like, you know, it is rightfully meant for me to, to do, you know, um, because everything that's going on is restricting you from moving forward so you need to pretty much like don't worry about the restrictions or, or feeling like held back and just t make the move make the move and move forward so that's what spirit ancestors guys kind of have a message for you now let's see i promise y'all it won't be as messy at some point just getting this channel started and just want again just want to Get the messages out there but i promise that at some point i'll have like some sort of fancy setup or nice looking setup to where i can actually like lean the cards up against something but just got to push them up for right now but let's see what um like physically like what do you have to focus on physically as that's kind of like what you, for you to process that that from you know that message from spirit is kind of like what you need to process internally but on the external like what physically do you need to to uh focus on all right oh yeah go like physically you just need to go with what feels right you know go with what feels right because when you do that look like you're gonna feel comfortable like you, you the, the decisions you make and the moves you make is gonna put you in a, a feeling of comfort because like the way that you, the way, the thing, well, the things that are gonna result from you going with, you know, whatever your inner authority is and the moon is intuition. And I know like generators have that gut feeling, but um, you know, if you have a, a spleen, a defined spleen, like I, I'm a splenic projector. So I know there's other splenic projectors out there and the spleen also deals with instincts and intuition. So kind of like use that, right? Use that. And if, and if you don't have a defined spleen, then make sure that, you know, you kind of put yourself around those that you know that do have one, you know? And if you don't know anyone that has one, just go off of your inner authority. Whatever your inner authority is, just go off of that, you know, and make the right moves in the moment right and that'll put you the moves you make that'll put you in a feeling of comfort because 
you're going to start moving in a way that and doing things in a way that or, or, or the things that like make you feel like you right like things that you feel like you should be doing being around people that make you feel good depending on what your 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 environment is you know and your in your human design chart what your environment hearts wands in this reading but um yeah man it's it's time for you to do things that that like are gonna make you feel like okay this this is where i'm meant to be this is like going forward like this is it like this is what i'm supposed to be doing this is who i'm supposed to be with like this is leaving the mark right this this is the beginning of you you, you're at a 10, which 10, um, you know, narrows down to a one or, or, you know, um, shit, what was the, I don't know. I feel like I can't really even think a little bit like of, of the words I'm trying to use. I don't, and I don't know why that is, but you know, 10 reduces. That's what I meant to say. Reduce 10 reduces to a one. Right. And so like ones are new beginnings. Like you, you came to the completion. We had a few nines before and now here the tens are coming out, you know, and tens reduced to a one. So it's like this, this is where you start to leave your mark on, you know, in the, in the world, in, in, in life. Like this is what you're supposed to be doing. This is, or, or who you're supposed to be with or the people that you're supposed to, supposed to be around, you know? Um, and, and it's gonna, and you have to worry, like not worry, you have to focus on like what's gonna, what's gonna excite you, you know, focus on what's going to excite you because that's going to bring you that fulfillment, right? You're, you're going to, you're going to feel happy and feel joyful and just feel excited. And, you know, you're going to, whether it's a job, you're going to probably have, have a job or come into a job or a career that. Is going to make you feel like you want to do it every day or you're going to be around people that, you know, or you're going to meet people that you're going to feel like you want to be around all the time because they're, they're going to push you. They're going to motivate you. They're just going to like be very supportive, you know, and who doesn't want to be around people that kind of like have their back like that. So let's see. Let's look at. How does February kind of end for you? You know, just kind of recap and it's like, you know, the beginning of February, you're going to, you're going to kind of be going within and, and doing what, or thinking about doing what you need to do to, to get your, you know, what's meant for you, get your, your fair shot at whatever it is that you want to do. Or be around people that's going to be open to what you're doing or whatever the case is, you're going to kind of like be like really figuring out, figuring that out on the inside. And once you kind of like process that internally is when you're going to, you know, you're going to get those feelings, whether it's from, you know, like I said, if you have a defined spleen, you know, go off of what's in the moment, what's coming to you in the moment, or, or just use your inner authority. You're going to like, you're going to start to those, those feelings are going to start to come up to where you're going to start making moves or start having conversations with people that help you move on. So, and, and you'll find that like, as you make the choices that you know, feels right to you, like that's when you're going to come into being around people or being in a situation that you feel like just good, like just really good about it. But let's see what the overall outcome is showing. Like how does February truly end for you? <laughs> wow. Yeah. 
Let me pull the rest first. But that's crazy. You know? That's crazy. Just tr total happiness and, and doing what you love to do or being around the people you love to be around. <clears throat> yeah. I mean, success like leads to growing, right? Like you'll be successful. You'll be uh, accomplishing things. You'll be like meeting people that, that, that again, are going to help support you so that you can grow, so that you can expand in life and, and, and start doing the things you want to do in life. You know, whether that's just, you know, being around people that you can, or being in a, relation, a relationship with someone that like you can have fun with and just do things that, that you weren't able to do before with the people that you were around or the relationship that you were in or, or finally being able to do that thing that you're passionate about. You know, you're going to start to, that that's going to start to like, like emerge coming towards like at the like end of February. Right. And, and you're going to, I mean, you're going to be tested though. Right. You're going to be tested and it's going to have you in your head a little bit because it's going to be something new. And when we're subconsciously programmed from repetitiveness a lot, we tend to like look back to like I like I won't I'm I won't even lie like if you've watched any of the previous the first series that I did uh, for the new year, um, I think I explained that you know around this time last year early late January early February, I basically quit my banking job and I was in banking for thirteen and a half years right and a year is coming up. And not to say everything's been easy. You know, I've been making jewelry. I've been doing readings, getting deep into human design, doing chart readings, doing tower readings, you know, expanding on my jewelry making skills, going from wire wrapping to metal smithing and stuff like that. But man, I'll tell you, there's been times within the past month or so I've actually like looked online for like corporate jobs. And I told myself I'd never go back to a corporate job. Not that anything is wrong with that. But, you know, just this this reading is for projectors. So projectors need to hear this, you know, like we're not meant for that. Right. Unless it's unless it's a corporate job that, you know, doesn't drain you of your energy. Right. Like you you're able to take your time. You're able to like it's not like a big workload to where you're just constantly working all day and stuff like that or whatever you know like as long as it's not draining like it's okay to have a corporate job if you're a projector but it just has to be something that's like matching that energy of you know not requiring you to be a workhorse <laughs> you know like to leave that for the generators like and they have to like what they do too even them so but again like i said it came up and i applied for some jobs i actually put in applications and like the minute i did that like you actually one of my old positions at my old job was available and i as soon as i hit that submit button my stomach like felt like nauseous like nah i don't what why would you even do that to yourself again you know and so you know you'll be tested you will be tested just because like something starts moving in the direction that you, you know, want it to move in doesn't mean that you won't be tested because you'll be tested to see if you really want it. The universe will, you know, put you in situations that may seem like, OK, um, did I really make the right decision? You know, because I was even though I had to deal with this or I had to deal with that, I was kind of comfortable, like comfortable in my situation whether that be, again, relationship, work, whatever. Like, I was comfortable in that situation, but it wasn't meant for you. So you really have to, like, know that when, once you start making this move, once you start coming into, like, this this feeling of happiness and, and what you love to do and the people that you're starting to love to be around, you start to, like, see, like, how it starts to work out and you're starting to grow bigger and better, like... There will still be challenges and you have to just stick. You have to stick to what you know is meant for you. Don't fall back. 
do not fall back into what was comfortable just because you haven't fully stepped into a new cycle of what you're meant to be doing, right? Or who you're meant to be around. You haven't, this is new. So you're, you're not fully out of that cycle that you just left. Like you still subconsciously have those things going on in, in your mind. So you just have to stay true to yourself though. And just know that, no, these things started happening for me because I made the moves that I knew that I need to make. I, you know, put myself in the position to, you know, get what is meant for me to have or be with whoever is meant for me to be with or whatever, like, or, you know, so don't fall back, like stay true to yourself. All right. And let's see. And so can y'all see that? Yeah, y'all can see that. And so on the bottom of the deck, um, <laughs> Did I not see that right? Oh, wow. My mind just totally on this row. Okay, let me look at that real quick. No, I, saw, I, I, did, I saw that right. I don't know what I was thinking just now. <laughs> My bad. Yeah, so basically, bottom of the deck, where your subconscious needs to be, is, is, is you know where where you want to like be in life long term right subconsciously that's what the, that's where that is so so you know what you want you just it, it, there's a difference between what you subconsciously have been programmed to do and what is also subconsciously been on your mind subconsciously you know that you need to do things that are going to put you in a position of, you know, feeling happy and excited and just overall getting what you want. But your external surroundings have also programmed you subconsciously to just be in repeated patterns and cycles of what's not meant for you. So, again, stay true to yourself when those tests come up, just keep on thinking about like what's what it is that you really want and what's really meant for you all right and so leave some comments however you felt about the reading let me know if you want to follow me on social media on instagram i'm at buddha.aq and buddha aq on facebook if you want to buy some dope crystal jewelry i think i have a whole bunch right here you know, if you want to buy some dope crystal jewelry, I'm at Eagle Vision Crystals on Instagram and Eagle Vision Crystals on Facebook. EagleVisionCrystals.com. So if you want to go straight to, to the source and just place the orders, got many more up on the website to choose from. But yeah, you know, I hope this re reading resonated and until the next projector reading, peace.